good morning again. Did I put on too much moisturizer? Maybe. <laughs> Okay, let me tell you, I was like on a mission today. You're gonna laugh at me when I tell you how many layers I put on. I'm just experimenting, but this is too much. Okay, uh, first thing I started with, I did like a hydrating essence. I think it's like the Caudalie essence. I'll link all these below, it's in my bathroom. I put that on my face after my shower and then I put on the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Vitamin C Pollution Protection Serum or Prevention Serum. I love this stuff, I've gotta be almost out. Um, I put that on most days. Anyway, um, then I followed up with the Radiant Glow Face Oil. Then the Soap and Glory Speed Plump Moisturizer. Those were what I was showing you in the other day's vlog. But then I put some SPF on um, just because, well, now I'm realizing I was, I didn't know what I was gonna put on my face. If I had realized I was gonna do the CC cream again like I did yesterday, I wouldn't have worried about it. But I was putting on the uh, Philosophy Miracle Worker SPF 50, which I like. Um, so I put that on and then I decided I was going to go mixing these BB creams route like I did the other day. And so here we are. <laughs> oh, I forgot before I put on the BB creams just for fun. I put on the Becca backlight priming filter. It's a little bit too much. Boy, it is moisturized though, but I've got to like tone this down. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> So I'm currently using my Stila Soul palette. Um, so I'll show you my eye look, but I'm wearing this kind of bronzy shade all over. Then this is kind of on top of that. Um, I used this in the crease, that's on my brow bone, and that's also on my lower lash line. Oh, and I threw a little of this on top of my uh, NYX Treasure Lee liner that I'm trying out. I felt like it wasn't black enough, so I threw a little of that on. So that's what's on my eyes right now. So it's not, I haven't put mascara on, but eh. I feel like by putting that gold on top of the bronze, it kind of canceled out a lot of the color. So now it's just like kind of boring, <laughs> but I need to put some mascara on, but I'm, I'm not gonna do gel liner and liquid liner today. I'm not feeling it. I have like a whole day of meeting somehow. We have one before school. We have one like the last few hours of the day where they have to give me sub substitute teacher coverage. <sighs> so anyway. For a boring day, I'm gonna do a boring eye look. <laughs> okay, I am obsessed with this Tarte highlighter. I did end up having hard panned, I think, panned, pan um, on it. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighter and Stunner. <clears throat> so I have it on my cheekbones and on my, um, here's the deal. I think I literally got hard pan on it right away from swatching it once. So I took a little spoolie and scraped the entire top of it. And now, like, it's amazing. I'm just going to swatch it on the very, very side. It's swatching so much better. I love the way it looks on the cheeks. Um, oh, my gosh. And it smells sweet. Like, oh, my gosh. I don't know how to describe it. It smells so sweet. I'm, I, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I feel like no one really talks about this, or maybe I just haven't been listening. You know what I mean? Like, if it was something that wasn't on my radar, I just didn't notice people talking about it, but it's stunning. I love it. A lot of people like the shade Exposed, the Exposed Highlighter. They have the Exposed Blush as well, which is really popular, but they have the Highlighter Exposed that a lot of people talk about, but that was a little bit too dark for my skin tone, and when I first hauled this, I know a lot of you guys were saying, I bought Exposed first, and it was way too dark, and I realized Stunner was better for me. All right, Tyler made her smoothies this morning. It's got like triple berry mix, banana, um, vanilla yogurt, almond milk, some protein greens. powder. Oh, lots of greens. See, that's what I'm saying. Like you can't tell when you taste it. I put a lot of handfuls in and you really, you can get those uh, <laughs> vitamins and minerals from them without <laughs> tasting them. Woo! Look at how sweet. A student of mine made a bunch of Christmas cookies for me and Mr. Braun. <laughs> Um, although I shared some of these with, uh, we had a staff meeting and I shared them with my table, but, oh, that's so sweet. I love homemade stuff. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I might be buying this. <laughs> Pinocchio looks just like Pluto. I just think it's so cute. It's like $25 and I still might buy it. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's adorable. 
So I'm at CVS, and I feel like they never have like the new stuff. Walgreens always does, but CVS never does. Because I feel like I always walk through this and I'm like, mm, nothing new. <laughs> and then Walgreens has like every new release ever. Walk out this boy. Come off one dial. He says, I'm tile. I'm tiny. I can fit anywhere. No. Just got home from school. Mm hmm. Came into the bathroom. Sat down because I was like, to pet him. Pet him. Yeah. yeah. And then boom, look at him. Found his way up there. He's yawned five times. You all crazy. Why are you so tired? Your day consists of naps. <laughs> we play sometimes. I know, I know out. that. But most of his day is sleeping Mostly like any dog. Mostly. Okay, I'll have to sleep for a while. We're gonna go see a movie tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna see Coco. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with the Coco. No? Is that part of it? No, no. Oh, I don't know All I know is where we're going, you can eat. Like, they, they feed you, like, you get dinner. I just drool saying <laughs> that. That's yeah, it's pretty called bad. Flick's Brew House, and they have like a, a di like, it's like a dinner in a movie. It's awesome. You get to eat dinner while you're there. It's, it's literally, it's if, if house, it were so acceptable have, like, to go like twice a week, we every week, we would. Because the ticket's the same price as like any normal movie theater yeah. ticket. And then like the food, then, I mean, it's, it's a, not McDonald's prices, but it's like, I mean, it's Applebee's or. Yeah, you know, it, I mean, honestly, it's like going to Applebee's. And really, food wise, like taste wise, it's like going to Applebee's. Yeah, but it's but like, no, but like, you get to eat it while you're watching it. And you're in like reclining chair. They also have, uh, it's a brew house, and so they have beer, and they brew their own beer, and it's mm -hmm. pretty good. And they have wine and stuff, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, That's it's just all an all-around fantastic <laughs> experience. We learned about it, like, what, six weeks ago, and this is our third time going. <laughs> it's awesome. That sounds about right. <laughs> We're at the movies. <laughs> I love this place so much. <laughs> all right, evidence that I cried during the movie Coco. Right there. Tyler, did you cry? I got evidence here and here. It was, so like it was so good. It was so good. It was so, so good. And we knew it would be good, but it was even better. And emotional. And the music was awesome. Oh my gosh. It was so good. It was so good. Everyone should go see it. I'm surprised I'm not hearing more about it. Um, but it took them like, what, six or seven years to make? Yes, yeah, like 2011. 11 to 2017. Yeah, the so longest longer. it's ever taken. Disney Pixar to um, create a movie. It, it was beautiful, but it was really good. Yeah. The story itself was so good, but the movie itself was just beautiful to watch. But yeah. So on a huge level, like the, just the graphics and the the actual just the the movie itself was beautiful, but on the emotional level, it gets you. It gets you. It's crying like a little baby. Yeah. So we're probably gonna end the vlog here. We're gonna go home and go to bed. I'm already tired. I'm emotionally drained now I too. Know. <laughs> It's so funny. I'm done. You're so I'm checking invested out for in the these day. characters in an hour and a half. And then it's like, amazing. <laughs> Train. Yeah. So we will catch you guys in tomorrow's Vlogmas. Bye.